Update 1 on Tropical Storm Knock 10, which has formed in the Philippine Sea with winds of 40 miles per hour and a pressure of 1,000 millibars. The storm's moving northwest at 12 miles per hour and the moment it's uh, affecting the island of Yap um, and that will continue over the next 12 hours in particular. The storm could pass directly over there, uh, but more, possibly more notably, the storm is then expected to head towards the Philippines and could make a significant landfall there, coinciding with the Christmas period. Uh, at the moment, it's projected to peak as a Category 3 storm on Christmas Eve and then move through Luzon on Christmas Day and beyond into the South China Sea, where it will weaken um, and then gradually dissipate, I imagine. Position right now is 7.6 degrees north, 140.1 degrees east, and at the moment, tropical storm warnings are in effect for YAP, um, and that's what the immediate concern is for right now as the storm continues to blow up. Sea surface temperatures are fairly warm, around 28 degrees Celsius, but you'll note in the South China Sea there, they're significantly cooler, so if the storm does end up moving over there, uh, it doesn't have much of a future. If the storm stays further south, it's looking better, and that's true also for the wind shear graphic. You can see here the blue areas lower wind shear amounts into the Visayas region, uh, but the storm's expected to move further north than that, and wind shear amounts may be higher. So the further north the storm gets, um, the weaker it's more likely to be. There it is on the water vapor map here. Um, you can see water vapor issues not really a problem. So let's take a look at the latest satellite imagery. There's the storm moving towards the northwest right now, 12 miles per hour as we saw. The small pink outlines there you can see uh, just to the northwest of the convective area of the storm. That's Yap. And to the west of there is uh, Palau, uh, which the storm's expected to pass safely north of. But Yap there to the northwest uh, could get some significant thunderstorm activity and uh, heavy rain event, of course. Um, and the wind speeds probably won't be too high, but wind gusts could be well into the tropical storm force range. Here's the wider shot from the uh, beautiful Himawari 8 satellite. Uh, that's uh, in darkness there still for a few more hours. The Philippines on the left-hand side exhibiting not too bad weather it would appear. You can follow the storm at any time on the website's tracker, force13.com forward slash tracker. And there you can see the storm um, approaching the Philippines, but it will take a few days to get there. And Yap is somewhere, a very tiny um, blot on the satellite picture to the northwest of the storm's center. 87 tropical storms have formed so far in 2016 around the world. 41 of them have gone on to become Category 1 hurricanes, or their equivalent around the world, typhoons of course, in this neck of the woods. 24 Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour higher. This one could make it 25 if it goes as planned. Uh, we hope not, of course. You can follow Force 13 on any of our outlets, the website force13.com, and you can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text. You can also add Fool 13 on Skype for tropical weather chat at any time. That's F O O L 1 3. Of course, if the storm does become a significant threat, we may well be going live on the situation, possibly for a while, but that won't be happening for a few days yet. And until then, we'll be keeping you up to date with these short updates. Stay tuned on the channel.